morning guys. First of December uh, 2021 and we got the chickens are crowing this morning. I just took my little sweetie up on the machine here and uh, I still got to say the, the finest improvement that was ever put on any bike I ever owned was that 51 tooth rear sprocket. Boy did that fix that thing. And if my if my sweetie, if I sit up and crowd myself way to the front and she gets her butt way up here in front of the axle here uh, the stability issues are no problem it's when she sits here that there's a big problem uh, with this bike so uh, that's that's just the nature of this little beast I'm sure it's probably the same on a lot of them but but uh, it's the way it goes yesterday though the kids and I took a huge walk we walked up to the market in uh, Lipa City and got them some lunch and some ice cream and stuff like that. Beautiful walk. Uh, I did stop and I didn't talk to the, the regular cops you see around this uh, Baron guy, the TD, whatever the heck they're called. I found some LTO guys and I asked them about... There was two of them. There was a younger one I started talking to and then an older one came in and then some uh, some chick, some chick LTO lady came over. Uh, she wanted to see my license. I'm like, I'm walking. What do you want? You're, I'm giving you my license. I'm walking. But that was kind of weird. She she seemed like an anti, anti-foreigner uh, chick, big time. But um, talked to these guys and I was telling them, <clears throat> if your kids can reach around your belly, yeah, you can take them. And he would. They were like, "Yep, absolutely. Yeah, if you're fi you're good to go. You want to ride around here? Or your kids can reach around your waist." And I told him, I said, "But I'll tell you what. When I'm riding my kids on the bike, I feel much safer if they sit in front of me. That way, I can hold them in with my arms and my legs. You know, kids get drowsy on a bike sometimes, and." Uh, they, they were talking back and forth and he said no yeah. he, he says yeah well, you're good to go on that you're okay on that you know but they still have to be able to reach around your belly to ride on the bike with you so he was okay with that but not three he said if you have your somebody on the back and you and then your kid up front he says we're gonna get you you know so that was that was pretty cool at least they at least they're sort of spelling it out to me uh, I did get their names so that if I run into trouble I can uh, I can name drop and say hey go talk to these guys this is a guy who just told me that I could do this so don't give me no hassle in case if it had to go to court or something like that but but that was cool the other thing that happened good uh, yesterday my new yellow bug lights came now these bug lights that came I paid a little bit extra for them uh, they were um, they were a few bucks each. They were four dollars. I think they were like four dollars each. Now the last ones I bought, it, they were just a white emitter. It was like a 5,000 K emitters inside the light with a little screw-on bulb, and it was a yellow bulb. And what happened to those lights is they uh, they faded. So I lost my yellow light as they faded. Uh, and it, bummer. Well, these ones when they came yesterday. Uh, the other ones were 9 watt. These ones are 15. I wanted them a little brighter. And uh, what happened was the emitter is what's yellow. And the, the little uh, bulb part is just regular white. So that was that's really cool. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy... Uh, now that I got them, I only ordered a couple. Now that I got them, I'm going to go ahead and get more. And uh, stock, just have them in stock. Now the other bulbs out of the yellow bulbs that I bought uh, they didn't they did not last long you know all this crap comes out of China uh, out of four four uh, yellow lamps I had two of them had burned out already and won't won't start they, they just won't light you know and th and it wasn't even we've only been here since uh, what was it March so you know well, that that's really crappy you know they they sell you all this crap and uh, it, it just doesn't last, so that's a real bummer. But I did see some cool stuff on uh, Telegram. I'm glad a lot of people are joining. Every time somebody, you gotta send me a message. I did put my phone number uh, in the description. I might put it in the about on here if you can't find me. Sometimes it works with the phone number. 
Uh, but a lot of people are joining up to the group. I'm going to start another group because it only keeps about a hundred uh, articles. That's how far back it goes. And then now people are chatting on there and that eats up all the articles I'd like folks to see. So I'm going to have another group uh, where you guys can chat on and so that, you know, I, that one's good morning. And that way you guys can chat on there and it doesn't eat all these cool articles that are up. Uh, somebody on the chat, I forget the name right now, sent me a really cool one about uh, at the school district. Well, it was a private school, I believe. Uh, they're not letting any teachers come to teach if they got the jab. <laughs> I thought that was funny because they they're doing uh, they're looking at all the stuff that's going on with this and they're saying no because it's it's too crappy. Now I did put another thing up there. You got to scroll back a little bit and find this guy because people were chatting. But there was a German fellow. He's a graph dot 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 in uh, specialist dude. Worked in the worked in that for a long time. Uh, him and some of his buddies tested the Jabba the Huts, and they found in all of them they tested this stuff was in there, which I'm going to call from now on atomic razor blades because that's what he called them razor blades. I'm going to call them atomic razor blades because they're so small. Now, one of the things they said, one, even, even I think it was Fucci said a long time ago, if they give the jab and it gets into a vessel, that's when you have problems right off the bat. See, they want this stuff to get in you slowly so they can blame it on something else. But if it gets in a vessel, that's when people drop right away. Well, watch this guy's stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. He spells it all out. It, it kind of sucks because it's in German and you got to read it. But I'm telling you what, spend some time and go through it. Spend your time and go through it. The other cool one that you should, that I think you should spend some time on. I put a lot of stuff up there, but another one to spend your time on is the tip of the iceberg. Just the tip of the iceberg. There's one, two, and three videos on there. You know, it's it's going on about this uh, uh, pedo ring. You got to look at the, you got to look at this stuff. And uh, I personally think uh, there's just so many high ups involved in this that they're they're going to just sweep it under the rug you know and call everybody loony and crazy and it's never happened you know uh, but these people do that and uh if it happens with these it happens with these super wealthy and these holly weirds are coming out and talking about it there was a good interview with one of the holly weirdos saying that they you know they drink pee and eat poo and all this stuff but uh i know i know this kind of stuff happens uh because when I was very young, I lived in a uh, not the best neighborhood for a good while because it was cheap, and uh, I was I wasn't scared of anything. And I ran into some some pretty sick people uh, doing stuff with their own kids. And when I reported it to the police, they just no, they they wouldn't even go over there. And I finally went down to child welfare. And uh, actually, I brought in a camera. I had one of those little 110 cameras. And the dude was doing some sick stuff to his infant. And uh, it wasn't the best of picture, but I took a picture, had it developed, and I brought it to the child welfare people to show them, look at this sick guy. And they said, that the lady took the picture, ripped it up, and said, you could go to jail for this. I, me me and they, they did absolutely nothing so this is why this goes on you know this is this is why this stuff goes on because nobody nobody really wants to believe it or anything and then they're telling me i can get in trouble for trying to expose it and that's the nature of what's going on you know you look at all this stuff with this uh you know atomic razor blades that's that they nose in this jab um, anybody who's trying to expose it is is getting hammered on guys they're getting hammered on you know you should be able to get all the news and all the information you know why is this uh uh stuff with the star trek phaser why is it going to be hidden for 50 some years you know all the information they have on this they know it's killing people they know it it's coming out that it's killing people guys plain and simple 
you know, and, and you want to call me a conspiracy, hey, you're the conspiracy theorist, thinking, thinking that, that, that a uh, drug company that makes drugs wants you healthy. Come on, wake up. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're a bunch of dummies. Wake up. But uh, it's just really crazy what's going on. But they hide all this stuff, guys. And anybody who starts speaking out, they get they get hammered. You know, they. But the conspiracy theories are now are the ones that you know government's out to help you. You know, your your doctors, your pal. You know, all this stuff. Those are the conspiracy theorists, the people who believe that kind of crap. Now, if you ask me, it's just just the way it goes. But beautiful morning. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, my sweetie's up in the store getting some stuff. Just had my coffee. Kids are still kids are still sleeping. They, that really tired them out yesterday. Uh, and me too. Yeah. I think it, it wasn't so much the walk that tired me out. It was, uh, you know, once we got into town, the smoky jeepneys and the stupid tricycles. I don't know why they still have these tricycles that that they use oil and these are 40 year old yamahas and they're belching smoke i mean how do they get through the inspection what's the point of these inspections here at the lto i don't get it they're going to go and take my brand new stinking bike and they're going to make take you know take a picture of it what they do here if it's belching smoke they shut the motor off and take a picture i'm not kidding you they they just let them go and these things are horrible and uh they use old jeepney oil to put in the gasoline and they just keep running them and uh be honest with you uh that's the thing that was getting me the worst was was that and i didn't even want the kids around it we were trying to get away from the main road as quick as possible but when you're walking it's really nice uh to just get out and walk because you see all the shops you can see the shops i talked to a lot of people uh, there were there were a ton of people that were you know just smiling and happy and talking. I noticed I'd say about uh, maybe 70% of the guys uh, had the mask down, uh, and I'd say maybe 40% of the women uh, didn't have one. Most of the older people all had one. I mean they're they're in, living in fear here, you know of something that I'm not buying. Uh, so, you know, that was the thing of it, but uh, a lot of smiles I got, a lot of people were talking. Uh, I did talk to uh, a group of women that all said they got the uh, Jabba the Hutt, and, um, but they were, they're not going to allow their kids to get it. They're not going to let their kids get it, you know. And I asked how many of them got sick, and uh, the one, one girl out of about eight of them said that she got, she got pretty sick for about two weeks. Uh, now, they spelled this out a long time ago uh, when they were t when people were talking about this ten, 10 years ago of this was going to happen, and they said that they want to keep a small amount of people, you know, as their slaves, these globalists, and uh, they said it would be Asian. So I'm hoping that th that this place uh, gets more of the saline than anything else. You don't need this, guys. You know, you know, I, I my, my opinion, you don't need this stuff. You know, people get the flu. You look at death counts around the world, they have not gone up. They're coming up with, they're, they're never going to stop these variants, guys. Uh, you know, my, my buddy Wes was wanting to hightail it the hell out of here. Guess what? He can't. Because now his, his connecting flight, he can't even go to Japan with the connecting flight, guys. That's that's how stupid this is. It's all fear porn. And these governments, guys, I'm convinced they're all in on this. They're they're in on this. They're in cahoots with them. Uh, they got the they got the goods on these people, and uh, I'm sure they're all in with the, the Epstein Island. And it's a you know it's a real bummer. It has to be that or money or just power. She's not home. She's at the store. But uh, real bummer. It's it's a real bummer what's going on, but it is a beautiful morning. Uh, I'm getting ready to get this shirt off because it's it's warming up pretty good. Uh, we were we were out early. I got to watch a a nice sunrise, and uh, we had a nice smiley moon. One thing here, oh you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It should be in the center of the camera, but I hope you can see that. But here in this country, the moon smiles at you. You know, it's, it's like this, and when I was in the States, it was always crescent moon, it's like that. 
And I had told people in the States that it's always a smiley moon here. And they, they were like, yeah, right. Even when I sent pictures, they were trying to say, oh, you turned the camera. And I said, no, there's a, you can see the houses. I had one buddy that just refused to believe that. And I just took pictures where you could see the whole row of houses down, and there's the moon rising, and, it, and it's a smiley moon. And he says, no, that's not, that's not the moon, that's something else. You know, he was willing to believe it was an alien spacecraft before he believed it was a moon. But <laughs> hope you guys could see that. Hope you could see that real good, how oh, it's smiling. I hope, I hope the good Lord keeps uh, smiles on this country. I really do. I think he's taking his smile off the states, that's for sure. And uh, he's, letting, he's letting Satan run wild in a lot of places, just letting him, letting him run wild. And you got old uh, uh, Santa Claus with a K. He's telling you you're going to own nothing and be happy. You know, gosh. So I, I wish these big elites, how about we take everything they have away? Just take it all away, put them out on the street and see how happy they are for a while. Let them try it for a year or two. You know, just do that and let's let's see how happy those guys are gonna be. Because they're telling us we're gonna be happy if we own nothing. You know, let's see how happy they're gonna be. I mean, they wanna tell you what to eat, when you can go out, when you can do this, when you can do that. You know, this is, you know, this is what this is about, guys. This is what they want. They want total control over everything. And they're they're evil people. They're controlled by Satan. They're they're minions. Whether they think they're billionaires and in control and all this stuff, they're not in control. They're nothing but minions. <laughs> you know, they're worker bees, and they'll get thrown under the bus in a heartbeat. You know, in a sticking heartbeat. Look at this stuff. I, I watched a whole thing. It was that uh, number three on the just the tip of the iceberg videos, where uh, this actress got in there was talking about. <laughs> Even if you're the president, you know, they want you to even do more. You got to eat more poo and drink more pee. They, they defecate on you and all this kind of stuff, you know, because it's it's evil. It's a it's an evil group and uh, nobody's exempt from it. They all got to join in on this. What kind of what kind of club you want to be in where you got to eat a piece of poo? <laughs> but I did see years and years ago our church church group. Um, there was a lady that went to one of these things she was visiting in california and her sister was telling her all this weird goings on and she snuck a camera in her purse and went to one of these satanic things and filmed it and brought it back and showed it to us and it would they had somebody splayed out over the floor with no clothes on this woman and they had these people in hoods and all this kind of stuff. It's kind of dark, you, you know, it was a pretty grainy film, but she, she had it. And they pooped. They pooped right on this woman's face and everybody took a gang pee on her. And this was their initiation ritual for this person. You know, this sounds like college frat stuff, you know, but, but sicker. And they were all in there, you know, doing their uh, speaking to Satan and worshiping that guy. And I, I was, that was the first time, and that was back in the 80s. And that, that really, that freaked me out. It's, it's when you start waking up that you really get freaked out at all this stuff. But uh, beautiful day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and let you guys go on this uh, 1st of December. Uh, we got the Christmas coming up pretty soon. And uh, we're, getting, we're getting things going really good. And I want you guys to all take care. Don't forget to pray for each other. I'm serious. And talk to the good Lord uh, every day, everybody. All you, all you Christians out there, and I know in the States there's, there's so many of you. Get, drop, drop, and talk to your, talk to your maker. Talk to him and uh, see if he can turn this around for us. We can't fight this, guys. We, we cannot fight this. I'm looking here on the TV, and uh, even though they know all this stuff's going on, these people in government are pushing this uh, uh, Jabba the Hutt thing. They're, they're really pushing it now. Oh, you know, we got to get up to this certain percentage before you know it. Morning. And uh, they're not stopping, you know. And what information are they getting, or are they in the bag? That's all I got to say. Rick Shaw out.